Mathematics comes up often in our discussions with Muslims. So-called mathematical marvels or mathematical miracles of the Quran are one of the favorite topics of many Muslim apologists. Further, if you're a Christian, I'm sure you've seen a certain criticism of your beliefs. According to Muslims, you believe that one plus one plus one equals one. This problem, of course, can be solved simply by adding units. One person plus one person plus one person equals three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If our Muslim friends are referring to the divine nature that the three persons all share, you're probably familiar with the common response, one times one times one equals one, or possibly infinity plus infinity plus infinity equals infinity. But that's not really important for this video. In this video, we're going to get a math lesson from the great God Allah. We'll read two verses of the Quran, Surah 4, verses 11 and 12, which are about dividing up an inheritance. Now, unless you're a lawyer who deals with contracts, this passage is going to be confusing at first, but it will eventually make sense, especially when we insert some numbers. Once we insert some numbers, we'll see a true mathematical miracle. Let's read the verses. Surah 4, verse 11. Allah commands you, as regards your children's inheritance, to the male, a portion equal to that of two females. If there are only daughters, two or more, their share is two-thirds of the inheritance. If only one, her share is a half. For parents, a sixth share of inheritance to each, if the deceased left children. If no children, and the parents are the only heirs, the mother has a third. If the deceased left brothers or sisters, the mother has a sixth. The distribution in all cases is after the payment of legacies he may have bequeathed or debts. A legacy would be if he left some money to his local imam or something. You know not which of them, whether your parents or your children, are nearest to you in benefit. These fixed shares are ordained by Allah, and Allah is ever all-knower all wise. Surah 4, verse 12. In that which your wives leave, your share is a half if they have no child. But if they leave a child, you get a fourth of that which they leave after payment of legacies that they may have bequeathed or debts. In that which you leave, there, your wives share, is a fourth if you leave no child. But if you leave a child, they get an eighth of that which you leave after payment of legacies that you may have bequeathed or debts. If the man or woman whose inheritance is in question has left neither ascendants nor descendants, no parents or children, but has left a brother or a sister, each one of the two gets a sixth. But if more than two, they share in a third after payment of legacies he or she may have bequeathed or debts, so that no loss is caused to anyone. This is a commandment from Allah, and Allah is ever all-knowing, most forbearing. Notice, this is a commandment from Allah. You have to do this if you're a Muslim. All right, seems a little confusing, but we can make sense of this by imagining a specific situation. Let's say a man has three daughters, no sons, one wife, and two parents. He dies and leaves behind $24,000 as an inheritance. To keep things as simple as possible, let's say that he hasn't left anything to any non-family member as a legacy and that he was debt-free when he died. Watch what happens when we divide up the inheritance. How much of the $24,000 will his daughters inherit? Allah, the All-Wise, tells us. If there are only daughters, no sons, two or more, their share is two-thirds of the inheritance. So, two-thirds of the $24,000 will be divided among his three daughters. One-third of $24,000 is $8,000. Two-thirds of $24,000 is $16,000. $16,000 goes to the daughters. No problem there. How much goes to the parents? Allah, the All-Wise, tells us. 
for parents a sixth share of inheritance to each if the deceased left children. The deceased did leave children, three daughters, so each parent gets a sixth of the inheritance. One sixth of $24,000 is $4,000. So the mother gets her sixth of the inheritance, $4,000, and the father gets his sixth of the inheritance, $4,000. So far, so good. How much does the wife get? Once again, Allah, the all-wise, has the answer. In that which you leave, there, your wife's share, is a fourth if you leave no child. But if you leave a child, they get an eighth of that which you leave after payment of legacies that you may have bequeathed or debts. Since the man has children, three daughters, his wife gets an eighth of the inheritance. One eighth of $24,000 is $3,000. So $3,000 goes to his wife. Now let's put all of this together. The daughters receive $16,000. The mother receives $4,000. The father receives $4,000. The wife receives $3,000. $16,000 plus $4,000 plus $4,000 plus $3,000 gives us a total of $27,000. If you recall that the man died leaving an inheritance of $24,000, we can conclude that, according to Allah, $24,000 equals $27,000. Remember, dividing the $24,000 inheritance in this way is a commandment from Allah. As a Muslim, you're commanded to magically transform $24,000 into $27,000. Let me know how that works out for you. So, when you read about Allah bragging that he's the ever-all-knower, all-wise, don't forget that he can't do third-grade math. Muslims, when you trust Allah to guide you to paradise, always keep in mind that he couldn't guide you through a third-grade math class.